This is just a quick demonstration to go along with my length units tutorial, demonstrating when you might and when you might not want to use absolute units in your layout. So I've got a wrapper div here and I'm going to set a width on it in pixels. So I've set a width of 600 pixels and we can see here that it's gone to that width and there's a gap to the right of it. And if we bring this browser window in, you can see that we get a scroll bar and that's because this width is set in absolute units, it can't be flexible. So using absolute units isn't great if we want to create a fluid grid for responsive design. What would be better would be using some relative units or perhaps setting it as a percentage. So we might do something like width 90% and then we can use pixels in order to declare a maximum width. Perhaps we never want it to get wider than 600 pixels because that is a good line length for our design. So we can use max width 600 pixels. So what happens here is that we say we want 90% and if we take the browser window smaller you can see that it scales down, it's nice and flexible. But if we go out again, once it hits 600 pixels, it doesn't get any wider than that, so we don't end up with huge long line lengths. So you should avoid using absolute units if you want to create flexible and responsive sites, but they can be useful in small components if you know that you don't want that area to stretch. And they can also be helpful in defining max and minimum widths to stop things stretching too wide or becoming too small.